Welcome back Mogverse and thank you for tuning in. Today we're diving deep into one of the unsung workhorses of US military logistics, the Logistics Vehicle System, commonly known as the LVS. This massive 8x8 tactical truck has supported the United States Marine Corps for decades, and it has a fascinating history and performance profile that deserves a closer look. Whether you're here to learn about how it works, what it's capable of, or how it stacks up against modern replacements and pricing, we've got you covered. Let's get started. The logistics vehicle system was originally fielded in the mid-1980s to provide a heavy logistics platform for the Marine Corps. Designed and manufactured by the Oshkosh Corporation, the LVS became the backbone of the USMC's heavy tactical logistics vehicle fleet. Its nickname among crews is the Dragon Wagon, a throwback to the famous M25 tank transporter, but in reality the LVS is far more versatile and modern than that historic namesake. Wikipedia. At its core, the LVS is not just a single truck, it's a family of modular vehicles that operate together in an 8x8 configuration. The system consists of a front power unit or FPU, which houses the cab, engine, transmission, and controls, and a variety of rear body units or RBUs that can be interchanged depending on the mission. You can attach a cargo body, a tanker for fuel or water, a semi-trailer adapter for heavy towing, or even a recovery wrecker variant. That modular design is what made the LVS so valuable. You could reconfigure the vehicle to haul ISO containers one day and then recover a broken down vehicle the next, all with essentially the same drivetrain and chassis components. Brokopedia. Let's talk about what's under the hood. The LVS uses a Detroit diesel V8 engine, specifically the 8V92TA, giving it around 445 horsepower. Combined with a 4-speed Allison automatic transmission and Oshkosh's own transfer case and drivetrain components, this setup delivers solid torque and capability for heavy hauling across tough terrain. It's not a sprinting vehicle by any means, with top speeds that are reasonable for a machine of its size and weight, but it's engineered for torque and durability more than racing. Brokopedia. One of the key advantages of the LVS is its off-road capability. With all eight wheels powered and Oshkosh's advanced articulated steering design, where the front and rear units pivot relative to each other, the vehicle can maintain traction and maneuverability even in challenging environments like sand, mud, steep grades, and rough trails. This was a critical requirement for marine operations, which often involve expeditionary missions with unpredictable terrain. Wikipedia. Payload capacity on the original LVS is impressive for its era. On paved roads, it can carry up to 22.5 tons, while off-road ratings are typically around 12.5 tons. That means it can handle heavy containers, ammunition, fuel, water, vehicles, and other essentials necessary to keep forward deployed units operating at peak effectiveness. Military Analysis Network Inside the cab, the LVS is fairly spartan by civilian truck standards, military vehicles always are. You have seating for a driver and assistant, functional controls designed for reliability, and integrated systems like central tire inflation that allow the driver to adjust tire pressures on the go for different terrain types. These features help avoid getting stuck and reduce wear and tear on the tires. Brokopedia. However, by the 2000s the Marine Corps recognized that the original LVS, while a workhorse, was aging. Wear and tear after decades of service, high maintenance demands, and changing operational needs led to the development of a successor vehicle system, the logistics. Vehicle System Replacement, or LVSR. The LVSR is a 10x10 vehicle with increased payload capacities, modern suspension, more powerful engines, and improved ergonomics and crew protection. In many units today, the LVSR has largely replaced the original LVS on the front lines. Wikipedia. Still, it's important to appreciate what the LVS brought to the table for so many years. It wasn't just another truck, it redefined how the Marine Corps thought about expeditionary logistics. The modular rear units meant you could adapt quickly to tactical requirements. Need to transport ISO containers loaded with supplies? Install a flat rack. Need to tow a semi-trailer or recover a vehicle? Switch to the appropriate rear unit and go. That adaptability saved countless hours of time and logistical headaches in real missions. Brokopedia. Now let's talk performance in real terms. On the range, an LVS with a full load can traverse a couple hundred miles on a full tank of diesel, which typically holds around 150 gallons. That gives it more than enough range for most tactical moves without frequent refueling. On paved highways it can cruise at reasonable truck speeds, though it's not designed for highway racing. 
Off-road, its suspension and traction systems help it cross terrain that would slow or stop many civilian rigs. Grokopedia. Obviously, the LVS also has its weaknesses. Crew comfort is basic at best. After all, this is a purpose-built military truck, not a luxury hauler. It also lacks the advanced electronics and diagnostic systems that